See, this right here, this, this is the good bit of the game. And it's minor. It's really minor. It's just like, can I fight this guy? I don't remember how strong Black Ooze is. We're low on health. Can I auto him or do I need to get some healing done? I think I'm going to get some healing done. Having to make decisions. I honestly think, I think if I thought about it more, there's probably some sort of, I don't know. It, it, it seems, I've noticed this, decisions seem to be the most important part of making games good. Whether that's like moment to moment decisions of an action game where like you're trying to react, not just react because action games aren't pure reaction. It's making good choices in a small amount of time. Do like crowd management in like a Doom sort of game or like, or managing your health or like all sorts of things. But, or if it's an RPG, like you need choices that matter and that actually do something. Whereas like, like, like this game would probably be better if you just took out like half the battles, but made the battles more challenging. Welcome to Game Dev 101. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. I'm sure someone else has fucking thought of this. I mean, it's not exactly rocket science or anything. I love that saying, by the way. It's not exactly rocket science. You realize rocket science is force down equals force up, right? Like, that's rocket science. But, <laughs> you know. Alright. You just discovered the basic concept of a design-engaging gameplay or competitive game with a meta. Yeah. Yeah, well... We all get there someday, I guess. <laughs> ah, where the hell is this? I'm just trying to take my complaining to another level. That's all it really comes down to. Is I'd like to complain and uh, at the same time feel like I'm better than people. I think it really just comes down to something like that. <laughs> uh, okay, everybody's poisoned. One man is bound, but our health is actually okay, I guess. Keep going with this. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. It's probably a bad sign that this game has me thinking about that kind of thing. Because it's not like I'm thinking, like, man, this game did so many things right. It's kind of like, there are a couple things this game could have done better. It's, I don't know. I guess any game could have been better. It's not really a perfect game. Except a game so basic that to improve it would only be to take away from its very basic appeal. Like something like fucking Tetris, you know? You can't make Tetris better. I mean, it's just, you can't. Because you add something to Tetris, and it's just, it's just clutter. But to call it a perfect game, it's like, well, I don't know. I think there are games out there that are more fun than Tetris. Tetris is fun, yeah, but what could you really add to Tetris to make it better? Nothing. But is it the best? No. Oh, speaking of complaining, you see the new Firefox update recently? I know most people use Chrome, but I don't like the idea of giving my information away to people who just kind of admit it. Like, at least Firefox, if they steal my information, I don't know about it, right? I might suspect it a little bit, just because I expect every browser of taking my information. But, like, I don't know. Chrome, I know. Chromium, I've been meaning to try Chromium. I've tried Pale Moon, which is, like, the Firefox version of Chromium. Or the Fire... The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Firefox version of Chromium. It's like a Firefox knockoff. And it's okay. It worked, but, uh... Then, like, certain shit wouldn't work with it, so I had to switch back to Firefox. I've been meaning to try Chromium, and I definitely might now, because Firefox finally updated, and, oh, fuck, is it bad. Like, it made the, the genius decision, right? Like, like, I have a lot of tabs on Firefox. I'm the kind of guy who uses tabs as, like, an equivalent of how most people use bookmarks, and I use bookmarks like most people use a fucking archive. You know, like just everything goes into, I keep all the tabs open and the bookmarks are just too much to ever be useful at all. And so, you know, I had like 200 tabs open when Firefox updated. And uh, it didn't ask me if I wanted to update, it just did it automatically because I didn't turn it off because I'm dumb. 
I guess. But, uh... So... Okay, I, I know where I need to go now. I need to get up. That'll do it. So then, it, it restarts, you know, it updates. And when it restarts, Firefox, with their new update, decided it would be a brilliant idea to have, whenever you start the browser, it preloads all of the tabs. Because, you know, they're trying to be faster. And if the tabs are preloaded, you won't have to sit there and wait. Oh yeah, it's a great idea. Except when you try to load 200 fucking tab the tabs at the, the same time, it doesn't fucking work. I mean, the computer, like, dies. I had to, like, just sit there and X out of most of my tabs. Which, I mean, needed to be done anyway. I don't usually operate at 200, that's a little high. But, uh... It was fucking terrible. I mean, it's just, who makes that decision? And then I go into the options, I'm like, okay, I'll just turn it off. Like, okay, it's shit that they put that on by default. I'll just turn it off. There's no option to turn it off. That's not a, that's not available. It preloads your tabs, that's it. And so now I'm, op I'm you know, I've got like 28 tabs or something, and it runs fine. But like, fine, who thought of that? It's a, it's a terrible idea. And of course they change what it looks like, just to look more like Chrome, which is kind of a strange philosophy to use because it's like they're trying to compete more with Chrome which I get it it's their major competitor basically everyone uses Chrome or an offshoot of Chrome or Firefox and an offshoot or an offshoot of Firefox but uh it's like if people are using Firefox it's because they don't like Chrome to an extent that they want something different making Firefox more and more similar to Chrome is going to make people ask themselves why they don't just use Chrome. Like, can they not see the road this is going to lead them down? What's it like to be functionally retarded? 200 tabs. Hey, you're, you've got the opposite idea here. I've got 200 tabs because my mind is occupied with 200 things at once. I need to cross-reference immediately. Waterfox and Chromium. Yeah, I'll try them out. The problem is like add-ons. I can't get some add-ons to work that I use for Firefox. But I know there are Chrome versions of the add-ons, so I could see maybe Chromium working. And like Pale Moon worked with most of them. I'll look at it. Cause yeah, I'm I'm not And the thing is, Firefox is already I already hated Firefox. I've only been using it for a little bit now, after I had to switch from Pale Moon. Because Firefox eats up memory like I mean it's just unreasonable how much memory it takes up and it's like it's just a fucking browser and it takes up more like I could be playing CK2 and I look at the memory that uh, CK2 is using and it's like a third of what Firefox is using even if I've got like two tabs open you know everything eats memory now I, it's, I shouldn't have to upgrade my computer because browsers are getting less efficient. You know what I mean? That is not, that is not okay. Do you watch Rick and Morty and MDE? Are those together now? Is that the combo? Or are those two sides of the same coin? Yeah, I don't know. What I'm getting at is Firefox, Firefox sucks ass. But so does Chrome, so yeah, I'll definitely try out those, uh, alternatives. You hate MDE. Why, though? I don't know about MDE. I kinda like them. I like some of their stuff. Some of their stuff is dumb. I mean, it's just fucking dumb. I mean, that's... And also, I was saying, I was... That was an insult to MDE. If you didn't, uh... If you didn't catch that. I was... <laughs> but, I don't know go full big brain what you got to be smart to understand mde is this what you're saying you got to be you got to you really got to have a high iq to understand the jokes of mde fuck tim heidecker he didn't understand this next level humor and really it's just censorship microsoft edge uh okay i'm fucking not paying attention here because we're talking about that. Okay, heal everyone. Yes, we've actually got tons of money, but still not enough to get any better weapon. Uh, we do have poison. Oh, 
shit, poison. Okay, we're not healing poison here. That is, we could just do that with a spell for like two MP instead of spending a thousand dollars. Who thinks that's a good idea? Is this just a game? Is this just where the game checks if you're an idiot? You're guaranteed to have this spell. You know what I mean? Like this is, you always have Pose Moody because you're guaranteed to have Susan on your team. So why would you ever spend that much for a poison heal? Like you would just have to be retarded. Microsoft Edge and Bing. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> That's where it at. I'm that's where it's at, I'm sure. I heard someone say once, I have not confirmed because I'm not a degenerate, but I've heard someone say that Bing is better for porn. I don't believe them. I will never check. They're probably pulling my leg. Or they're just, you know, an idiot. But I have heard that. It's something that's gone around. It's a rumor. Uh, okay, I guess I'm done with this. So now we need to go back down to the, uh, underground. Because apparently there's a connection to the Messiah place down there. And we can actually get a move on here. I guess the Messiahs are gonna like me. Because we're law right now. That would have required someone to try Bing. <laughs> yeah. Don't they still force it on you? If you, like, upgrade... Like, if you if you get a fresh install of Windows 7, don't they... I mean, <laughs> Windows 7. Shows where I am. Uh, if you got a fresh install, like, Windows 10 or something, they would... S no, I guess they just... I don't know. I guess no one would fucking notice, because the first thing you do... when you, If you have, like, a new computer, is just download a different browser. And any other browser wouldn't force you to use... Uh, Bing, you know. You know what the sad thing is? There's some people out there, like, we joke about it, but there's someone out there, and not just someone, but, like, a group of people who not only, like, they use Microsoft Edge and Bing. And what's an even worse, even worse thought, this will sort of make you lose some faith in humanity a little bit. If you went looking for it, I bet you could find someone who not only uses them, but knows at least a little bit about computers and defends them. It's just, there are so many people in the world that that is, I think that's just an inevitability, an inevitability. Like someone will defend Bing. And someone will defend Microsoft Edge. Do you think people use- I, I've actually thought about that too. Is that like a recent phenomena? Like, do you think in the Middle Ages, people would have said like, Hey, you think everybody- anybody's ever, uh... Oh, what was that really weird? There was some like... What was it? I remember reading some story about some woman, it wasn't in the Middle Ages, I think it was a little later. But it was some woman who like, stuck rabbits in her vagina as like a magic act. She would pull a rabbit out of her cooch. And, uh... Do you think in the Middle Ages anyone would have said like, do you think anyone's ever shoved a rabbit in their vagina? And they're like, oh, you know, like nowadays you ask that question, it's like, yeah, I'm sure somebody's done it, you know. But you say it back in the Middle Ages, they probably would have been like, no, <laughs> you know, no. I'm sure no one's done that. But now you ask any question, like it doesn't matter how dumb it is for someone to have done that thing. Somebody's done it, right? There's someone out there. And I, and that's an example right there. Somebody has stuck a rabbit in their vagina. It was apparently a big act. Degeneracy is as old as time? Well, that's true. But I mean, did people have that mindset about it? Did people think? Because it's kind of a... It seems like a result of the large population. Like, we just sort of... Everybody has this idea in their head that there's a large population. Like, an extremely large population of people on the Earth. So, like... Somebody has to have done it. Even if in the past, probably people still did that sort of shit anyway.
Oh yeah, I've, I've seen ancient, ancient Roman shitposting. Yeah, I know. Nothing ever changes. <laughs> it's just an endless cycle. The United States is the new Rome. And the United States is also just the new Weimar Republic. It's just forever. It'll repeat over and over. Uh, okay, down. Got it. Yeah, it's... I don't know if that makes... <laughs> I don't know if that should make you feel better or worse. The fact that this has happened before and will happen again. Uh, I don't know. What do you think the Romans complained about autistically? What were their video games? Like old Roman plays or something? Yeah, but I don't know. There were periods of de degeneracy in the past in the US. I'm sure. I'm sure, yeah. It's it cycles. Nineteen hundred political bombings in the US circa seventy two. Huh. Yeah, I mean, huh? Puerto Rican nationalists. Yeah. Okay, I guess that makes some sense. Which is starting back up again. Black Panthers, Clan, Weatherman bombing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. inefficient but in this case it kind of isn't because we spend more if we healed everyone one by one oh wait did we go the wrong way shit this is the wrong way <laughs> I went down the one downstairs that doesn't lead me to the basement Oh, yeah, I see where we are. Okay, so we need to go to the right, up there. Okay, got it. I'm going to save real quick. Then. It's most likely a meme, but you remember hearing about on Hadrian's Wall, they found letters and reports talking about troops being bored and doing dumb shit and asking for leave so they could get drunk and fuck hookers. Well, that, I'm sure that's real. Like, I, I would not doubt that for a second. Oh, shit. Well, I want to keep playing a little bit, though. I hate it when it does that. Fucking menus. Pressing B doesn't put you back. It just makes you leave. Shit grammar and spelling. Yeah, I'm that. Yeah, it makes sense. PlayStation? This isn't a PlayStation? Are you, you think this isn't PC emulation? Do you see this? Save states? This is not a, this is not a P, this is not a PlayStation. This is just a very sleek looking, shitty emulator. That I downloaded because I was too lazy and the other shit wasn't working. And this was just, this was just simple. And also it's got, it works well with OBS. This is another reason. Yeah. Who do you think I am? Playing it on PlayStation. I don't even think you can play it on PlayStation, actually. There are never gonna be good emulators. I mean, some of them are pretty good. Like, uh, Dolphin emulates GameCube pretty fucking well. But, for some systems, I mean, we're never gonna get anything. And that's sad. I mean, like, why is there no original Xbox emulation? 
I know why. I think I've asked this before, and it's something about like the architecture is actually surprisingly weird, despite the fact it's supposed to be really similar to a PC. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to recruit this guy. He's chaos, clearly. Uh, but I can get money out of him. Sweet. Okay. Mm. Of course, of course, she's probably chaos as well, so she won't join me. Mm hmm. Alright, I get to take all this damage and not do anything. That's good. Oh, do you see the, uh, the new LA Noir remake coming out? They're putting it on the Switch, and I think they're also putting it on some other systems too. And, uh, for some reason, I don't understand it, but for some reason, they changed your options when you're interrogating. Like, oh, nice. It's a trap. Oh, great. <laughs> like, it used to be the three options in L.A. Noir were uh, truth, doubt, lie, right? And that's simple, you know? You get exactly what you're, you know what you're getting, even though a lot of times they were inaccurate. And, like, sometimes you'd press doubt. Doubt was always the worst one, because sometimes you'd press doubt, and he would just be like, oh, I don't know about that. I kind of I kind of doubt what you're saying. Sometimes you'd say doubt, and he'd be like, YOU FUCKING ASSHOLE, YOU KILLED THAT WOMAN! It's like, no, I just, I just wanted to doubt. I didn't want to accuse him. But now they changed them to, uh, good cop, bad cop, and accuse. Which makes even less sense. Because... Is that being a good cop that you just think he's... Like... If you think the guy isn't lying, you're a good cop? Because... I, like, I don't get it. And, and doubting him is being a bad cop? Because sometimes you doubt him and it really is just... Uh, can you explain that? I don't really know what you mean by that. that. That seems a little off. I wouldn't exactly call that bad cop. Accuse makes sense because that's what you do every time there's a lie. You have to put, sort of some, you have to put forth some sort of evidence. Saying like, okay, this is where I'm, you know, I'm accusing you. Here's the evidence of it. But the other two make no fucking sense, and why change it? I don't see any reason. And they said, I heard someone saying that like, oh, that was the original, the original plan for the game was to, uh, was to have it a good cop, bad cop, instead of lie and all that. And it's like, okay, but they didn't do that, right? And as far as I can tell, they're not changing anything else about the game. They just changed that? So like, the answers you get, because I mean, the studio that made the game is fucking gone. Right? So it's not like they could have re-recorded voice lines to make it match up with the good cop, bad cop thing. So it's gonna be the exact same choices, but labeled differently. What kind of nonsense is that? Who would do that? Like, whose great idea was that? Like, speaking of all these great fucking ideas we've been talking about, that's like almost... Okay, no, it's not EA level. I was gonna, I was gonna say it's an e EA level decision. It's not quite there. It's just... It's more strange than outright retarded, but it's up there, you know, it's close. It's just gonna make a lot of people who never played the game before very confused when things don't line up. Which, to be fair, already happened, but it's, <laughs> I can't imagine it's gonna be better. Have they figured out emulation on Switch yet? Like homebrew and stuff? Because I remember the Wii U, it did not take long at all. And in fact, they've also got like even just Wii U emulation working all right already, which is just, just funny. I mean like, PS2 doesn't even emulate well yet. And I know that's because of like some sort of shitty drama with the developers of the emulator. But, like, also PS3. It doesn't emulate that great, really. Switch is in the works. Heard they got far. PS3 is going well, too. Yeah. That's what I've heard. PS3 is coming along. Like, still not great. Like, I think they're... Like, most games, you could still not play through them with, like, the best experience. But, it's something. Especially if you've got, like, a really good computer. PS3 is new? I guess comparatively it is. 
just gonna run away from this guy. Yeah, I mean, I guess for emulation it's new. I get, but I, I think I've been spoiled with how easy it was, like how quick it was with uh, Wii U made a lot of progress very fast. And then um, the uh, 3DS, where like the emulator was up and running like almost immediately it seemed like. Not that it mattered because the thing itself could be like homebrewed very easily. Again, here's the uh, the Jewish little uh, little my lawyer tapping on my shoulder, telling me to say, you know, not that I actually did any of these things, right? This is not an admission of guilt, but in case I, I mean, if, as if anyone fucking cared. Let's be honest, but cover my bases here. Do you think Twitch has a policy against that? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I'd be mildly surprised, but I wouldn't be, like, shocked if they had some sort of policy about, like, not talking about that kind of thing. Speaking of which, good news. I didn't know this. Uh, you can say nigga. You can't say it with a hard R. But soft R is okay. Didn't know that. Opens up a whole nother layer of jokes. Don't imagine I'll be using it very often. But the, the fact that I can is liberating. Still don't know where we stand on the whole queer thing. Whether or not I can say that. Don't know. I mean, I know I can say the word queer, but you know, I can't say... I guess I said fag like, <laughs> like three times already this stream. So I guess if anybody's watching, I would have been fucked already. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what the, what the policy is on that one. I still need to look into that. It seems kind of vague. The problem is, if you search in, if you if you type in on Google, like, uh, can I say X on Twitch? Or like, X, or Twitch X banned, or something like that. Trying to figure out if they ban the word, or if you'll be banned, or anything like that. All you get is like, is like Reddit articles. I mean, other than just nonsense results. You get like Reddit, people posting on Reddit, Reddit threads. Saying that, like, uh, well, why would you want to say that in the first place, man? And it's like, just, just answer the question, please. <laughs> just, I just want to, I just want to know. And, they, and that, that's all the answers. It seems nobody knows, but the, the, uh, sentiment is just like, well, don't say it. You know, you shouldn't say it anyway, don't say it. It's like, no. <laughs> no, it doesn't answer the question. What if I want to say it? It comes up. What if I'm quoting? There's another, you know, like they should be, at least if they're gonna ban certain words, be clear about it, right? Let me know that, you know, is, is quoting it okay? That's a very real example. I might be playing a game where I'm reading it off. Makes a lot of sense. In which case I would assume it's okay because they also have sort of a, their rules about nudity work like that. Where if the nudity is not the point of the stream, it's okay. Like, if the game just happens to have nudity in it, it's not really something you can control. That's fine. If you're playing a porn game, it's not okay. Makes sense. At least it's clear. But... Mm. Alright, where is these... I'm hoping I didn't get, like... Because I'm pretty sure there's something down here. The way to continue is down in this underground part. But at first someone told me that there was nothing down here. And I'm pretty sure they, they lied to me. I really hope I didn't get fooled the second time and not the first. And have, in essence, been fooled twice. I don't think so. I think I just haven't found the exit here yet. Also, we finally have enough money to buy some weapons. And we're about to leave. That's a great little thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'll see you. Maybe. <laughs> Stairs. Okay, well what do we have over here? Hmm. <laughs> 
Honestly, this game is just making me want to play other games, which is not great. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying it even, but I'm just thinking I could be enjoying myself more. Maybe I just need to relax a bit. Stop thinking about how green the grass is on the other side. Okay, so this is where we need to go. This should lead to a little tunnel thing. Nice. Hey, change of color. About time we get a little change of scenery. It's the exact same walls. There's really no difference, but now it's got a nice little, nice little color change. It's like a completely different game. Uh, we really need some healing. Uh, no, not that. Sure. Another quality of life thing I'm just going to complain about for a second. They should really have a button where you click on a single heal spell and then say use it on everyone or use it multiple times or something, you know? Also, not make it... Like, look... Okay, look at how much it is to, uh... When I, when I click on this spell, I have to click on who I want to use it on. That makes sense. And then it says they cast it. And then it says they were healed. And then it goes back. You can take out one of those. I know that's fucking the most minor shit in the world to nitpick like that. Oh, did I pick the wrong one? Oh, good. But, I don't know. I'm in a nitpicky mood, I guess. Um, Susan, you don't have a paralyzed heal, do you? I don't think so. Unless Mephatra is, uh... No. No, she doesn't have one. What does Trayport do? Isn't it like a teleport spell or... Wait a minute, what's Traysto? Shit. <laughs> that might have been bad. Wait! Whoa! Whoa! This is where we need to go. Who is... Okay, who's poisoned? I think that was just like a fucking shortcut. Oh, that building you can see up north over there used to be called Sunshine. But before that, it used to be called Sugamo Prison even earlier. And that older name's back and is what the place is called now. Oh, are we back near... Huh, okay. Um, no one's poisoned, just one person's paralyzed. That's not what's happening here, right? What is this? What the fuck is going on with that? How come I'm taking damage like every step? What the fuck is this? Okay, go back inside, I guess. Yeah, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Jeez. Stop, please. So I guess we're not going up here, or down here. I mean, it can't be the paralyzed, because it doesn't do anything when I'm moving around over here, you know? I don't think. <sighs> what if it fucking is, though? Let me check my map real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's right where we were, and we just teleported up above it. So I'm pretty sure this is where we need to go. Let me check real quick what this other spell of hers does. I really hope it doesn't teleport you back to, like, a save spot or something. I think it does. I think it does. I think it just did. Shit. Shit, okay, well. I guess this is a good chance to buy the weapons we needed. I mean, I guess might as well take advantage of this mistake. Also gives us a chance, I guess, to go above ground and see if it really is this paralyzed thing doing it. Or a chance to fight some demons and get rid of the paralyzed, just have it wear off. I don't know. Could happen. Nothing there. Where is this thing? Armors, all right. Weapons? Not weapons. Weapons is over here. There it is, all right. We should be able to buy something better. Although that other store we went to might have had better stuff. Uh, yeah, wait, does that say two? Oh no, wait, is that two? I don't have two of them, right? I'm not carrying around two guns better than what we have. No. No. Um, yeah, I think that place we were... Oh, wait, we can fucking teleport to that place we're in. What am I thinking? Let's just get the better shit. What am I doing here? Unless those were swords. 
That other place might sell swords, in which case this is going to be kind of a waste, but... We'll see, I guess. Actually, is there even a way to, way to tell? Like, would he tell me if it was... I guess swords have a different store, don't they, usually? I don't fucking know. Yeah, so let's... Zip over to... Is it Ikebukuro? I mean, that's where the prison thing was, but I don't know if that's actually where the store was. I because I got out of the prison, I think. I don't. I'm not really entirely sure. I think this is right. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. This has got to be it. Right. Okay. But it's not here because we haven't explored there yet. So it's armors. Yeah, we got this. Uh, not there. But somewhere close. Weapons. Oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah. Looks like he got swords and guns there. Uh, Pauza? Okay, that's definitely... Okay, these are guns. Golden gun? Like, the golden gun? Like, one-hit kill sort of golden gun? It sounds pretty good. Or explosive gun? That also sounds fucking good. Or a Pauza, which was like the highest level thing at the other place. The problem here is if we buy the most expensive one, which we could do if we just sell some shit, that'd be easy. Um, only one of us will be able to have it. Whereas if we bought this, only one of us would be able to have it. Never mind, we don't have enough to sell. Yeah. Let's sell a tiny bit. And just get the best one. Uranium shot. I think I might want to use that soon. I don't know what a stinger is, so... Oh, we need to sell more. Sell, uh, sell a soul returner. We don't need that. Just kind of taking up space. And a... Sell a bead, I guess. They're useful, but... We don't need them that badly. Now! Golden gun. This has got to be really good, right? If it's shit, I'm going to be pretty upset. Golden gun. Okay, right now we're at a power of 70. 110. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's not bad. The accuracy is way better, too. Huh. And I can up the damage by 10 by adding uranium. The thing is, our sleep has not- our sleep bullets have not been doing much recently. Which is what people were saying. Like, they said they would drop off, so I guess that's where we're at. And it just makes sense to stop now with that. Now, let's improve her gun as well. Also give her uranium. Still an improvement, which is good. And we'll sell this other stuff, and that should put us in a much better position killing these demons. Sell the machine gun. And sell the... Uh, the nerve bullets are super... Like, they're not worth anything. So I'm not going to sell them for the minuscule amount of money that we'd get from doing that. I think I'm just going to keep them around in case I make a change of heart here. Want to go back to nerve bullets because I like nerve bullets. I really like... Actually, he sold some other bullets. I know we, have, we don't have enough money for it, but I'm kind of curious. Do any of them sound like something like nerve bullets? Plutonium or magic shells? I don't know, maybe magic shells. Could be something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's give this a little shot. Let's try these. Gun, gun, everybody else just regular attack. Let's see how these guns do. If we're not bound. 65? 65? That's, that's not that fucking great, actually. I like that it hit everyone. That's really good. I was afraid golden gun, you know, I had in my mind James Bond sort of gun. Uh, pistol, you know, shoot them one at a time sort of thing. Shooting all of them, that's very good. Um, and I guess Susan's is going to be about the same, just not as good. Oh, and I also can't use her right now. Also, we're all paralyzed. You know, it's just a good time to run away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, where's the healing place? Except... Nah, it doesn't really work. Never mind. Never mind. We don't want to do that. 
You think we can kill him basically by ourselves just because of how good this gun is? No, the answer is no. We're losing too much health. We don't have any healers. This is a bad idea. Get out. Alright, thank you. Okay. We have no magic except that guy. Okay, yeah, I can't even heal right now. I think... I think now would be a very good time to find the healer, but I'm not really sure where they are. Get out of here, please. Terminal. Okay, we'll get a quick save in. In case we mess this up. And yes, I'll keep playing. I will go outside. And Gaia. Gaia does heal you, but if there's a Gaia around, there's probably a different one too. Also, isn't like this isn't this supposed to be like the prison? From the uh like this is just outside the prison for the Messiahs. Are they really in such close proximity to each other? Like the Messiahs live right outside where the prison is? You'd think they would do something about the prison. Like me. I don't know. Try to break your guys out. There's the exit. Okay. This one's probably... I don't want to fight you guys. Just, just leave me alone. I'm guessing this one is... Uh... Oh. I was going to say... Um, the Lucifer one. Is there just going to be the Messiah place? Is this the Messiah place I've been trying to find? Also, I think... I was saying before, maybe I had gotten fooled twice. I think I actually fucking did. Because that place was just... You couldn't go anywhere up there. There was actually nothing to do up there. Huh. Okay, well, it looks like it's just Messiah here. So, I guess we'll do... I mean, we are fucking law anyway, so... Hey! Oh, it's Gaia. No, it's Gaia. I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah. Ye who possesses the power of law, you shall not enter the Gaian temple. Or so I'd say. If you give a reasonable donation to our temple, I won't shut you out. Will you give a thousand? Sure. Sure. I like that. That's fine. Except, oh, we're very low on money. But still, oh, but we're not going to have enough money to actually heal anything. Shit. Well, I can heal Susan. She's really the only person who needs it. I guess that's fine. Yeah, I mean, we're really not that bad off. I just wanted to heal Susan. Guess that works. And also, I bet... I'm not sure about it, but I bet giving a, giving a donation makes you more aligned with Chaos. Which is probably, you know, the kind of thing we might want to be doing. Just to... I fucking said no again. This, Jeez. Yeah, it's probably what we want to be doing so that we can uh, get neutral again. We probably want to be neutral. I don't fucking click start. I don't like menus. I'm just gonna say it. I don't like it. <laughs> menus can get on my nerves sometimes. Especially when there's like a slight delay or something. It really messes with my head. That's the guy I place. Uh huh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. No. If you will not donate, then get out. I like how they're just greedy. They're willing to uh, set aside all of their morals. Well, morals, quote unquote. Fucking worship Lucifer. But, they're willing to set aside, you know, all their beliefs, as long as you give a hefty donation. Shit, the same fucking thing? Do we still have guys that are paralyzed? Could that be the explanation? We do. We do, in fact, yeah. Well. There's really only, well, okay, there's two ways we could check this. One of them involves paying to, uh, to have that guy unparalyzed. Can't do that. Don't have enough money. So what we're gonna do is just, uh... Bye. Alright, now let's give this a shot. That was it. Are you serious? Paralyze makes you stop every turn? That is bad. Is he still paralyzed, by the way? Yeah, he stays paralyzed. Okay, well, it's time to summon somebody else. Uh, Saru Tahi. Law... Got a heal on him, got a good magic spell. Yeah, it seems pretty good. I'll take him. Yeah, okay, cool. Not enough money. Oh, yeah. yeah. Forgot, I'm broke. Can't summon demons when you're broke. They expect an upfront fee. That's the place we came from. Okay, so actually, never mind. 
Where we went was where we could have gone. Or however the fuck you say that, that's not quite right. Where we went before... Yeah, no, that's, that's, yeah, that's right. Where we went before is where we could have gone. It would have led us to the exact same place without the, going through the prison and everything. Which also means it would have been without fucking up our alignment. Which seems pretty valuable. We may have made a bit of a mistake by going the way we went. It's kind of too late now, but... Alright. Whoa! Rat... Rack... Karango. Rakarango. Caught him off guard, so of course we get a free attack on him. Then we'll do some talking. I'd like to have you on my team. No good. Okay, well, don't really trust fight. Ah, we should've just fought. Well, we failed. Okay, we get to see how strong he is. Yeah, not that strong. That's kind of what I figured. Need to be a little bit less of a pussy and just try it Try it out. Let's try Mudo. Why not? Maybe a free kill? Free kill. Free kill. Sweet. Oh, there's nothing over here. Unless it's like a secret. I gotta check the end of it. Wervern. Still a full moon. Can't get you on our team. Okay, we'll just do a sword. Does, this, does Loa have any other good spells? Yeah, they do, actually. They're the person who can revive. Still, though, Mudo's pretty... It's kind of nice. Because when it works, it just fucking works. I mean, you see that? It's just an instant kill. That's really good. Is there a Ma Mudo or whatever? Like, is there a multiple... Of course, there's nothing there. Is there a multiple version of Mudo that I can just instant kill everyone? Like, when there's groups? Luckily, so far, we're just not getting groups. It's a little weird, actually. Look at that. Another free kill. Does Mudo just always work? I never really tried Mudo before. Let me just make sure... Also, uh, use a gun. Let me make sure Mudo doesn't just... Like, it's not on everyone, it's just against one guy. Mudo does everyone! Holy shit! Okay! Mudo is like a... Okay, this is a really good move! Let's see... I mean, it hasn't failed once yet. I'm really liking it. Try it again. Do we just have, like, the ultimate demon on our side? There it is again. Dead. Dead. Oh, I can only do two. Okay, okay, it's not it's quite as overpowered as I was kind of thinking there for a second. Oh, also, these guys are weak anyway. Yeah. I guess they are just birds. We're shooting them. Yeah, I, uh, to be expected, I guess. It's their natural weakness, guns. But. Huh. Someone here? No, just another. Can we recruit the bird? I could see the bird being a chaos guy is kind of the problem. Stop it. Identify yourself. Identify yourself always works. I don't have any money, though. No, I just want money. Thank you. They, there's no way we could get them for cheap. It never happens. A worm. Well. Well. You want to talk? Let's get some cash out of you. Approach. He's really pissed off. Glower. He glowered back. Identify, and now we're in the clear. Except he left. Like, uh, okay. Oh, hey! Whoa! This is the demon that we, uh... That we turned our dog into, isn't it? This could be our dog. Our dog ran away after we fused him with a demon. I don't know why. why he didn't appreciate it, I guess. Play a good game, man, not this weeb trash. It's actually almost been, like, two hours. I might actually play, like, uh... I wanted to get some suffering in tonight. As in the game, the suffering. I might do that right now, actually. Let me just... Let me just get a save in. Wanna be my minion, man? No, it's not gonna work. And I have too many. Okay, well. Yeah, I actually... I'm actually in the mood to play some... some suffering.